Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining. We are here at the IoT Evolution Expo in Florida, and we thought uh, we'll catch up a little bit around the Harman IoT Gateway announcement. And we're joined here by Andrew Till. Andrew just concluded a presentation on a panel around Internet of Things. So we thought this might be a great opportunity to catch up with him. So thank you so much for joining, Andrew. My pleasure. So let's just start quickly with some of the key highlights of the second generation IoT gateway that Harman's announced that made a mark in the industry that people have noticed. Okay. So first of all, let me say, I think a lot of the features have been based on customer feedback and looking at pain points and what we could do to, uh, okay. to help them resolve those. So a number of the key highlights. First of all, we've made the device ultra manageable. So we've integrated our world-class device updating technology so you can remotely update the software in the gateway and manage it accordingly. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we, we know that people have a lot of problems, particularly when they've got disparate networks deployed with inside their organization to manage and connect and yes. uh, be able to bring on board new sensors. So sure. we have extended the range of technologies uh, on the wireless side that we're supporting. We've also embedded a sensor database into the gateway, which allows us to pre-configure sensors um, and then store those parameters inside the gateway so that when you're deploying into an enterprise environment, you can really simplify the whole setup and configuration uh, experience. Um, the third built on top of that is local edge analytics. Yes. And so we know today that it's very popular to do a lot of analytics in the cloud and we still fully support that, but we've also enhanced the gateway with the ability to look at the data that it's receiving and perform some basic algorithms in real time at the edge of the, uh, the network. And obviously we've, uh, we've been very public in our relationship with partners like Entrust Data Card and uh, really focusing on the whole security mm -hmm. uh, domain. So we again are enhancing our security inside the gateway. We know this is a critically important area sure. and we're continuing to be super focused on that. And then finally, we've revamped the entire industrial design. We know that today everything has to come in a beautiful and engaging package. Yeah. And so we've redesigned the, uh, the industrial design from the ground up. We've made it circular. I think the material fit and finish is beautiful. And hopefully it's something people will be very proud to have in their office environment. Well, I'm quite sure, but let me just um, go down a little bit um, onto further details around the embedded analytics that you talked about. Uh, tell us about what's the value of having edge analytics and how does this particular solution do it differently? There are a number of advantages that uh, when, again, talking to customers and target users, mm -hmm. uh, started to come through that edge analytics would be a great way of supporting this. Uh, first and foremost is, you know, the gateway itself has battery uh, power, okay. so that should there be any interruption to the general power inside the, uh, the building, you can switch over to the battery, you can still perform basic analytics, even if you don't have a path back to the cloud. Okay. Um, secondly, for some reason, if you, the cloud is not available to you and you are trying to, say, track users inside the building in the event of an emergency uh, responder scenario, again, you can still get basic information off the gateway to help guide, so let's say, firefighters, police uh, responders to where people are inside the building and provide assistance and support. So really, we're talking about yeah. you know, some, some life-saving yeah, technology certainly. there. And then thirdly, um, a lot of the time you can perform very quick analysis and generate the insights and, and, and direct uh, actions and control devices without the need to, to send information up into the cloud and, uh, you know, and then contest with other activities that may have higher priorities. So again, you have a speed and an immediacy um, for some, you know, some more uh, limited analytics processing taking place locally. And then finally, depending on the type of analytics and the network that's being deployed, um, you know, you may run into some data protection issues of where you're sending the data and where you're storing mm -hmm. the data. And again, running analytics at the edge of the network um, allows you to bypass some of those issues by simply keeping the data local and then, uh, you know, discarding the data once which has been finished with. So there's a range of different scenarios sure. that we've been looking at. That, that's terrific. Now you did mention uh, earlier in your conversation about industrial design. So let's talk about that a little bit. How have you done um, the design this time around for the second generation differently that's going to be valuable for our customers? So one of the bits of feedback we got on the first yeah. generation was people loved the feature set okay. and the capabilities, but it was a white box yes. and it wasn't the nicest looking piece of equipment. And so we were asked, could we come up with something that didn't look like a traditional IT 
uh, piece yeah. of equipment. Mm -hmm. We come up with something that could be on display in an office environment, in a meeting room, and people would be proud to, to have the product there. On display, yeah. And so we sat down and looked at a range of different design options, and we came up with a circular design. There's the light band that goes around it, okay. um, that is capable of giving you visual status information. So that's everything from when I'm configuring and setting up, I can see what's happening, to day-to-day -day operations, I can see when it's transmitting and sharing information. We also um, wanted to provide a range of options around mounting. So traditionally, gateways are mounted up high, but we also know there are scenarios where people want to have them in a horizontal versus a vertical uh, position. And we wanted to, again, provide options around that. And so redesigning the gateway, um, looking at the antenna placement and what we could do there, and uh, you know, having some of our brightest minds in the company working on those challenges. Again, we came up with this very, I think, unique design um, that allows us to offer you know, more capability as well as having something that is uh, very, very functional and, and uh, very beautiful to look at. Well, that's terrific to hear. It'll be wonderful to hear that the feedback we receive from our customers. By the way, from talking to press, analysts, customers so far, what kind of feedback have you been receiving? So I think the response has been tremendous. We, we know that uh, when we're announcing a follow-on product into a market where there's a lot of competition, sometimes it can be hard to get the attention. Yes. Um, but what we've seen so far is people have really picked up on the key USPs as we discussed earlier. The design has resonated really well. We've been asked, you know, are you gonna bring this into the home? It looks like a home product, which I think is a, is a great compliment. Um, but really what people are saying is, yes, you, you understood a lot of the pain points and this is really moving the needle in helping to address those. And I think we've already seen you know, a lot of articles uh, online, people blogging about the gateway, and people talking about it that we didn't expect to be uh, talking about it. So really, really pleased with what we've seen so far. Any guesses on why a particular feature or which particular feature might have caught on uh, with some of the bloggers, some of the press, some of the customers that you've been talking to? You know, it's, it's a real combination of the, the features and it depends on the type of market you're looking at. Let, let's start off with over-the-air software updating and management. Yeah. If you're deploying into, say, a regional office or into a retail environment where you may not have local IT support, that is a very, very compelling feature. If you're deploying into a traditional office environment, campus type environment, the edge analytics is something that's resonated with people. And again, we can tailor the analytics yes. to the specific requirements of a, of a customer. And again, the ability to support unique customer requirements helps to really move beyond the, the standard approach to something that is fit for purpose for their, their particular challenges. Uh, so we're seeing, you know, based on what people are looking to achieve, different features resonating. And I think that's the strength of the gateway. It's got something to offer to everybody. That is terrific. We really appreciate the time. This has been most helpful. And for those of us uh, looking to learn more about the solution at services.harman.com, you can go look up and find more details around the solution. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you.